Hello friends, in this video we are going to understand how to use animate on scroll library to animate HTML elements on the web page step by step. So let's get started. I right click here say new folder name it as my profile. I hit enter. Consider I am creating my profile. So I am going to create one folder called as my profile inside that I put all the resources. Okay. So I just created here my dash profile folder. Then I search for notepad, select the notepad, you can see notepad got open. I am going to write here basic structure of any HTML5 document. I say less than exclamation mark doc type HTML. By reading this line of code, browsers understand the given HTML document is a HTML5 document, right? We know that HTML document begins with opening HTML tag, ends with closing HTML tag. In the opening HTML tag, we say lang equal to en. Lang equal to en indicates language of this document is English. We know that HTML document is divided into two sections, head section and body section. To indicate the head section, we say opening head tag and closing head tag. To indicate the body section, we say opening body tag and closing body tag. That's body section and that's head section. In the head section, I say meta char set equal to utf-8 greater than. That indicates character set of this document is Unicode transformation format 8. Then I say here opening title tag and closing title tag. Inside that I write AOS library demo. I am going to save this file, file save as. I save the file inside my profile folder with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotations and save. I minimize it. In my profile folder, we have default.html page, right click, say open with Google Chrome. You can see default.html page is open in the Chrome, title is set to AOS library demo. Next, here in the body section, I am going to create a div, opening div and closing div. Inside that I put content and then I add some BR so that we get the gap between the divs guys. I copy this BR and paste few times here. I copy this and paste here two times and then I copy this content and paste two times one two so we have do 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 three do's I say file save go to browser and reload you can see content is displayed once twice and thrice so we have content 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 display let's apply some styles guys so here in the head section I say opening style tag and closing style tag and then I say type is equal to text or CSS. I select all the divs in this page. Apply these styles. Width should be 30% and minimum dash height should be 150 pixels. Background dash color should be light gray. Border of 10px solid white. And then box dash shadow 0px x offset. 0px y offset 5px color spread shadow color black and then I add some padding of 10 pixels I say margin of auto so that all the divs center align if I say file save go to browser and reload you can see the divs got style they are center aligned you can see that so we have first div second div and third div now what I want while scrolling these divs should be animated guys so while scrolling to animate HTML elements, we take help of animate on scroll library guys. I go here, I search for Google and then I search for animate on scroll. I click on the first link. It takes us to animate on scroll library. Using animate on scroll library, we can animate HTML elements while scrolling guys. So we have some fade animations. You can see we have flip animations, we have zoom animations. So there are many animations and extra settings available here guys. Okay. Now if I go down, there is a download button. If I click on download button, it downloads a zip file with the name AOS-master. Let's go and say show in folder. In downloads folder it is downloaded. I right click and say extract here. We got the extracted folder. I am going to copy this and paste it inside my profile folder. In the aos-master folder we have dist folder. In the dist folder we have aos c 
CSS file, AOS, JS file. We have to link these two files to our HTML page guys. If I go back, click on V1 GitHub. In this page, it is going to clearly tell you how to use animate on scroll library guys. You can see this telling add styles in head section. So you have to link AOS.CSS file in the head section. So for that, what I do here, I take help of the link tag and then I say href, I say here inside AOS dash master folder, we have dist folder inside that we have AOS.CSS file that you should link relationship. I say here style sheet, style style sheet and type text or CSS. So we have linked AOS.CSS file. Next we have to link the JavaScript file guys. You can see it is telling add script right before closing the body tag. You have to link AOS.js before closing the body tag as well as initialize AOS library. So what I do here before closing the body tag, I say opening script tag, closing script tag and then src inside AOS dash master folder. We have dist folder inside that AOS dot JS file is there. You have to link that and then we also need to initialize the AOS library. I'm going to copy this code from here and paste here guys. Now simply we are initializing the AOS library guys. Next what we have to do. We if we want we can have some global settings while initializing we can apply some global settings or individually we can apply the attributes. We can set animation using data dash AOS attribute data dash AOS equal to we can give any animation name here like fade in fade out zoom in zoom out etc guys. So let me copy this and paste on the second div here data dash AOS fade in we have I go here to animate on scroll page here we have you can see flip animations we have flip left we have flip right you can see that so I'm going to use this value flip left copy that and paste here if I say file save go to browser and I'm going to reload my page now what happens you see when I scroll down the due to is going to flip guys when I go down you can see that the div 2 is getting flipped. So it's very easy to animate the HTML elements while scrolling guys. Just you need to download the animate on scroll library and uh, put that folder AOS master in your root folder and then you should link the AOS.CSS file. You should link the AOS.JS file, initialize the AOS library and use data dash AOS attribute on your HTML element with the value guys very simple. I'm going to copy this and paste on this div and say flip right. I say file save go to browser and I go up and say reload. Now check out what happens as I scroll down div 2 is going to flip as well as div 3 is going to flip and if you observe here the flip animation is getting played so fast right it is getting played so fast if we want we can control the animation speed on individual divs using data dash aos dash duration attribute its value can be 0 to 3000 guys i'm going to copy this and paste here on this div and i say data dash aos duration 1000 means one second guys 1000 means 1000 milliseconds 1000 milliseconds equal to one second so to play the animation okay or to complete the animation it takes one second so by default data dash aos duration is set to 400 milliseconds we are setting here 1000 so definitely the animation is played slowly i am going to copy this and paste here if i say file save go to browser go to my page and reload now you see the animation getting played slowly that means the elements getting flipped slowly guys i just scroll down slowly so as I go down, you see it is flipping slowly, right? It is taking more time to flip, com flip completely, right? So you can control the animation speed also guys on individual elements using data dash AOS dash duration. Like if I say here 2000, now it takes two seconds to complete the animation or flip the elements. File, save, go to browser and reload. 
So as I scroll down, it takes more time to flip. It takes more time to flip. So you can definitely control the speed of animation on individual elements using the data dash AOS dash duration attribute. So if I go back to GitHub, if you want to control the attributes on individual elements, okay, you will be using these attributes guys, simple, okay. Uh, if you want to set some attributes globally, then you do that in the AOS dot init function, okay. You take help of the object and you can decide which attribute to use and set the value whatever you want. So by default, you can see the duration is set to 400 milliseconds, right. There's a property we have called once false. So what is the meaning of that? Whether the animation should happen only once while scrolling down. So it is telling once false means on every scroll the animation is played guys. Like for example, if you want to play the animation only once, okay, only once after reloading the page, only once the animation should play, not on every scroll. Then you can set globally on all the elements using this value here in the init function, create an object and say once colon true. And you say true, you see file, save, go to browser and reload. Now, as I scroll down, only once the animation is played, okay, you see only once the animation is played. If I go back and come down, there is no animation is getting played. You see that no elements are getting flipped here. Because we told here, on all the elements we are setting, the animation should be played only once. If I say false here, file, save, go to browser and reload. This time on every scroll, the elements are going to flip. On every scroll, the animation is played. So you see, animation is played, animation is played. If I go up and again come down, the animation is getting played, you see that, right? Understanding? So globally on all the elements, you can set some behaviors. If you want to set behaviors uh, or control the behaviors individually, then you will be taking help of the attributes, guys. I hope it's uh, clear to you. That's it guys for this video tutorial. Hope this video is helpful to you. I strongly suggest you people to try it yourself. If you try and experiment, you get more clear idea guys. And uh, visit this page and go through this page, read, you get more knowledge guys. In the upcoming videos, we'll discuss more about web designing. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.